This week we eat till our hearts content at Terralina Italian. Then we shrink down to toy size at the brand new Toy Story Land. Plus the latest theme park news and more coming at you from the attraction studio at Give Kids a World Village. Right, right now. now. Welcome to this week's episode of the show. I'm Elisa. And I'm Quinn. I hope everyone had a fun and safe, happy 4th of July. Mm -hmm. I know we had a good time. Yeah, uh, I did. Have you seen the new movies coming out? There's The First Purge. Yeah, I just saw The First Purge the other day. My review is up on our website. And uh, my dad went and saw Ant-Man. And his review is also up on our website. So if you want to check those out. Nice. I, I mean, obviously, I haven't seen either yet. Mm -hmm. I'm not really a Purge person. Not yeah, my it, favorite. It was it was pretty good. Like it, I'm. You can see in my review, like I just said. But um, yeah, like it's, it's like it's scarier good. or just the, the kind of the same amount. It's of just scary. kind of the same. Okay. Like it's just another purge. Like okay. it might be the first one, but they're all pretty much the same. <laughs> Something different, but the same. And I mean, I love the Ant Man movies. I think they're mm -hmm. great. So I'm excited to see Ant Man and the Wasp doing their thing together. Mm -hmm. And then we all know, you know, the ending. It's probably going to be like. <laughs> well, I guess you just have to watch it I don't to know, find I don't know. out. I'm just guessing, but... <laughs> well, we'll see. All right, we're heading news in the queue right after this. It might be crazy to think, but 2018 is halfway over. Trip planning is best when it happens months in advance. So are you prepared for the 2019 theme park season? If not, don't worry. Our friends at MEI Travel are here to help. They offer a wide range of options, plus you have a pro by your side making sure you do it right and for the best price. For a free quote with no obligation, visit meitravel.com. Universal Orlando offers more than three incredible parks. It also has the City Walk Shopping District with restaurants, nightclubs, and the Blue Man Group. Well, thanks to Undercover Tourist, you can get Tier 1 tickets to the Blue Man Experience for $26 less than regularly listed prices. For the best ticket deals, visit undercovertourist.com. Are you ready to go behind the scenes while also supporting a great charity? Give Kids World Village is offering a new Behind the Themes Tour Package. These tours take you into the headquarters of big names in the theme park industry. To support the charity and see the theme park world in a whole new way, head to gktw.org. This week we're going to dive right into the newest attraction at Legoland California. The LEGO City Deep Sea Adventure Submarine Ride is now taking guests underwater on a four-minute voyage of discovery. During the ride, guests pass by 2,000 different real sea creatures, including five different species of sharks. Guests will use interactive touchscreens to help a LEGO minifigure dive team identify LEGO pearls, gems, gold coins, and more. This sounds like so much fun! Mm -hmm. I really love submarine rides, like, yes. like uh, Nemo, um, 20,000 leagues under the sea, not 2,000. 2,000. Yeah. <laughs> I know, and I love that they're kind of, you know, using real sea creatures. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I love that. I don't think anything at Legoland has had that before. So. I don't think so, yeah. Very cool. Oh, man, I wish we were in California. Maybe. We'll, we'll get there. We'll get there. One day. <laughs> now back in Florida, Universal's Halloween Horror Nights is ready to play with two new scare zones. Revenge of Chucky and Killer Clowns from Outer Space are the two most recent announcements for this year's event. In Chucky's Scare Zone, guests will enter a toy fair turned lethal filled with diabolical twists on childhood toys from the past. They'll be stalked by murderous monkeys, a board game turned deadly, and the world's deadliest doll himself. In the Killer Clowns from Outer Space Scare Zone, an interstellar circus tent will be filled with wacky killer clowns and the sweet smell of cotton candy. Guests will try to escape the clowns or face the wrath of their ray guns, which will turn them into grotesque cotton candy snacks. I actually just watched um, Killer Clowns the other day to prepare. Oh, nice. It's it really funny. I Is really it? liked it. Oh my gosh. I know a lot of people have a s scared of clowns. So yeah, that's true. This scare zone sounds pretty terrifying, to be honest. And Are, are you one of those people who's scared of clowns? I, I can do it. Like I'll walk through <laughs> it, but I'm going to be like, Ugh, I don't want to be your cotton candy snack. <laughs> They're big, like, lumpy clowns, too. Like, they're, like, big alien-looking. <laughs> they're humorous-looking, yeah. kind of. I don't know. The Chucky Scare Zone sounds really awesome. For some reason, I'm picturing Toy Story Land gone very wrong. <laughs> I don't yeah, know that's, yeah that's probably right. You're probably correct. <laughs> but, you know, something like that. I don't know. I'm excited. Halloween Hard Ice is around the corner. 
It's, can't it can't get here soon enough. <laughs> now, over at Walt Disney World and Disneyland California, your phone has now become a part of the theme park experience. The Play Disney Parks app offers fun games and interactive experiences while inside any U.S. Disney park. Guests can play games themed to certain attractions like Rocket Race at Space Mountain or Off to Neverland at Peter Pan's Flight. Sometimes the app will even trigger in-park effects. Guests can also earn achievements based around the park they go to or the attraction they ride. The app will be regularly updated as new rides and lands open or close. The app is free on the Apple App Store and Google Play Store. This is really cool. Have mm -hmm. you downloaded the app yet? I do have the app. I've, I've looked around the little map and everything, mm -hmm. but I haven't actually done any of the in-park things. Same. And even if you're not in the park, like you can still play like trivia mm -hmm. and stuff like that from anywhere. So and, yeah. They have the little... Uh, I think it's Apple Music soundtracks mm -hmm. that you can like download. That's like like it's this this one's uh, the music from Tomorrowland, or this one's the music from All of Animal Kingdom. It's or. really cool. I think it's a great interactive way to you know kind of get involved, and mm -hmm. everyone's going to be on their phones anyway. So <laughs> why not play some more games on there and yeah, use that battery? <laughs> it's perfect to do in any queue when you're just yeah. sitting there like okay, well, twenty more minutes. <laughs> yeah. Exactly. I feel like the in queue games that they tried to do didn't work very well because mm -hmm. it was hard when the, you're moving, but you're yeah. playing a game. So doing it on your phone is, you know, and you don't have to kind of just sit there in your own world. You can get everyone in your family involved too. I agree. Yeah, I think it's a good idea. Speaking of new things with Disney, a brand new show is coming soon to Disney's Hollywood Studios. Premiering early 2019, Lightning McQueen's Racing Academy invites rookie racers to learn from the best in the business. During this show, Lightning McQueen, Cruz Ramirez, and Mater will show off their racing expertise and knowledge. The show will be held in Sunset Showcase right next to Rock and Roller Coaster. This sounds interesting. It's not expected, that's for sure. <laughs> no, it's very random. Personally, I'm not a big Cars fan, but I know a lot of kids out there are, so. That's true, yeah. yeah. I'm, they're, they're good. They're mm -hmm. good movies. Yeah, I think it'll definitely be geared towards children, which mm -hmm. is fine. This is great, you know. More kids shows, the better. And the more things opening at Hollywood Studios, That's, I'm okay with that. That is definitely true. <laughs> now, lastly, but certainly not least, we learn about the future of stunt work and animatronics. Walt Disney's Imagineering team has created Stuntronics, a new form of animatronic made specifically for dangerous stunts. These Stuntronics can perform extreme maneuvers 60 feet in the air with perfect, repeatable precision. Imagineering spoke of the possibility of using them for Star Wars, Pixar, or Marvel characters in live shows in the parks. This could allow for extreme real-world effects without the need to risk human life. The Stuntronics are still in testing though, so we will just have to wait to see what comes of this new tech. This is kind of scary. Yeah, did you see the video? It's, it does that big like flip. And... Oh, I don't know how I feel. The, the, the robots are taking over, Quinn. <laughs> but but, but it's, it's for safety. But they're taking over. <laughs> no, it is, I mean, it's cool. If it, if it saves a life, great. Mm -hmm. But it's, <laughs> we'll see. There's definitely new technology. I don't, I don't know. I'm not ready. <laughs> everybody. For this Hit Mickey of the Week, we're in Epcot at the Living with the Land ride. Look for a hidden surprise on the first part of the far right wall of the entrance queue, the wall you pass by right before you reach the loading dock. It's a large, rather indistinct, bright white outline of a prince and princess holding each other. Very cool. The image extends from the floor to near the ceiling. It's huge. And the prince faces left and bends down slightly over the princess. Be sure and look for this one. It's very cool to get your photo in front of. Now that is a big strawberry. And those are some big toys. And there is a massive mushroom. You know, I think I'm starting to sense a theme here, Lisa. What's that? Um, you know, we're, we're basically like tiny, like, like almost toy sized. Don't play with me here, Quinn. Is it finally time to start an intro about a new land? I, I think it is actually, uh, you know, you know, Banks actually shrunk down this past week and he headed over into Toy Story Land. Well then, play big, Banks.
So Wayne Zielinski has done it again. I have been shrunk down to the size of a green army man, and I'm here in Andy's backyard for the opening of Toy Story Land at Disney's Hollywood Studios. It's the brand new land. There's two new rides. There's Toy Story Mania with a new queue and a return of a classic favorite animatronic, plus some food, merchandise. There's so much to explore back there. Let's go take a look. the big deals, yes. So yellow is a good means business color? Yeah, yellow and green are very complimentary colors for each other, so. Here's They're the thing, when we take a, an edge sketch, he doesn't really show people that it's yellow. He has to make sure they see the signage to know that this is yeah, yeah. brown. Gotcha. Because people don't normally know what this color would mean, unless it was properly displayed. Would you like to uh, take an edge sketch right here? But yes, please. Sure. Let's tell what it is. Sorry. Let's do it. All right, strike an action pose. So here we are in front of Slinky Dog Dash. This is the big new addition for Toy Story Land. It's a huge roller coaster, but don't let the footprint size fool you. This is very family friendly. As you can see behind me, it's a 38 inch height requirement. I'm looking forward to this. I'm hearing a lot of good things about it. So let's hop aboard. We are on our way, riding aboard Slinky Dog. Already there's the, uh, there's Rex's toy box there. And we're going right into it. Here we go. Get some great views of Toy Story Land from up here. Oh boy! Oh! Oh! Uh. oh! And into the second launch, and uh, this is very cool. This is very unique. We stop and we back up a little bit because we're winding up, getting ready to launch. I love that detail. Spinners are going. Here we go. Here we go. Oh! Oh! <laughs> yeah, there we go. Whoa, 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 <laughs> yeah, and the big finale, got a friend in me, sing it Wheezy, yes you do, that is a fun ride, Slinky Dog Dash, a great ride for the family. I can't wait to bring my daughter on this one. Then me. Yeah. 
You've got a friend in me. All right, so here we are in front of Alien Swirling Saucers. Now, if you've been on Mater's Junkyard Jamboree at California Adventure, you'll know this ride already. It's the same kind of ride where you whip around, you go in in circles. It's a lot of fun. Oh, Green Army men are out here patrolling the area. I mean, of course, we're all the size of Green Army men. But I'm looking forward to going on this ride, Alien Swirling Saucers. You know, it's a long name to say. Maybe just abbreviate it to that. Um, no, Alien Swirling Saucers. Let's go. So Toy Story Mania has been a popular attraction here at Hollywood Studios for the past 10 years. And with the opening of Toy Story Land, the entrance has been moved right here inside the land. There's a whole new queue system for the ride, as well as the return of a favorite animatronic that's been missing for a little bit. Let's go take a look. So really the big addition to the queue here is this giant Midway Games playset box that the whole games came inside. So that is really, really cool. It's really well themed for the ride, setting you up for the story. And then you come in here to air conditioning. Hey, we love air conditioning in Florida. So as you can see, a lot of new murals, a lot of new prompts, still that same classic feel that the old queue had, uh, just now expanded over here into the land. There's pop outs of all the, uh, the what your scores and the, the symbols you get for how high you score. There's Etch-A-Sketch here, and guess who? Of course, it's Buzz Lightyear. That's awesome. So yeah, this looks really great. The expanded Toy Story Mania queue, new entrance, same familiar look, a few new prompts, but the one returning element that a lot of people are excited about, including me, is Mr. Potato Head is back in his whole glorious form. Same kind of animatronic, same jokes. Really cool to have him back. Yes, he, and my presence has made him speechless. And so now here we are, we're making our way into the load area. This is part of the third track that was recently installed over the past couple years. New, uh, new soundstage next to the original version. Only one track here, but it's been a little while, so I'm gonna hop aboard and see how I do. All right, so here we go aboard Toy Story Mania. I love this classic ride. One of my favorites. Gotta get my glasses on because I know some of the tips and tricks for this ride. We're gonna see how high I can get my score. All right, all right, 24,500, not bad, not bad, there we go, whoa, all right, this one's hard to do by yourself. Oh, I did it, yes, <laughs> I get the hidden part of that by myself, but did it. I like to open all of them first and then just go crazy. Ah. Woo! Ah. Oh man. All right, let's see how we did. Oh, best this hour. All right, I still got a long ways to go before I get that best this month one, but I'm very happy with how I did by myself. Toy Story Mania is such a fun, classic attraction. It's been here for a decade now. I can't believe that. You got to come out here, ride it, learn those tips and tricks. It's a lot easier when you have someone with you. All right, so that is it from Toy Story Land here at Disney's Hollywood Studios. It is now open. Slinky Dog Dash, Alien Swirling Saucers, the new Toy Story Mania queue, Woody's Launchbox. There is so much for you to explore in Andy's backyard. So come on out to the park and have fun.
MEI and Mouse Van Travel is your expert source for no-fee travel planning. Visit mei-travel.com for a no-obligation quote today. Skip the lines with undercover tourists, crowd calendars, touring plans, and mobile apps. Stop paying full price for your family vacation and visit Undercover Tours today. Mamma mia, all this hosting is making me hungry. Right? Let's get out of here and get a bite to eat. What are you in the mood for? Like we could have sushi, mm. sandwiches, we could go to a steakhouse or... Italian. Italian. Only thing left to do, finish this intro. Well, uh, you know, Vincent actually t went and tasted the new Terralina Italian restaurant at Disney Springs this week. Let's take a look at that. Hello, my friends. Or should I say, buongiorno, my friends. That is because we are here at the newest restaurant to open at Disney Springs, Terralina Crafted Italian. We're going to check out some of the sights, the sounds, and most importantly, the food. Let's go take a closer look. Terralina, the newest restaurant here at Disney Springs. A lot of restaurants at Disney Springs. Yeah. What makes Terralina unique? I think we're the, uh, we made the bold choice of saying crafted Italian. Mm -hmm. Terralina crafted Italian, which, I mean, we make everything from scratch. You know, like the olive oil we get from our guy Alberto Giacchi in Tuscany bottles it just for us. We get it fresh every year. Olive oil needs to be fresh to be delicious. So the emphasis on crafting things, making things by hand, taking our time, uh, which is a fine line when you're when you're in this setting and with these many pe this many people. So um, I mean, it's just there's a lot of passion here. This is my heritage. On the discussion of passion, what is a dish that you're passionate about here at the restaurant? So for us, um, pizza dough is so important. Like you think it sounds like, well, what's the big deal? It's flour, yeast, water, whatever. But like we worked out a combination of flours. Um, we tested it. We tested like a longer fermentation, so the dough was like easier to digest. And that I'm not a doctor or a nutritionist, but I want you to enjoy the food. So Italian food, it's not like a lot of other cuisines that I won't say which ones, but like it's not 24 ingredients in a plate. There's a handful, and they all better be good. And you better have the right flour, the best cheese, and the best olive oil, and the best, you know, like, that stuff's important. What do you think is a dish here people are going to go crazy for? What do you think is going to be the fan favorite, if any? Uh, so, uh, we, we thought about this, like, yeah. what, like, because you have to think about that stuff today, right? Absolutely. Like, yeah, like yeah. who's going to take a picture of this and put it on Instagram, right? Like, you think about it. So, we created this antipasto tower. Like, you know, like, seafood restaurants have, like, a seafood tower, and and uh, you know whatever steakhouses like let's do an antipasto tower but let's make it completely unique and different and it has cured meats and cheese but it's like two levels yeah and it's really really cool and everyone here told me you're crazy we're never going to be able to execute this it's never going to get to the table and we're doing it and i think it's one of those things that people are going to remember us this is something very different you're not going to see any place else Sorry, didn't see you there. I was just enjoying my sparkling rosé and thinking about how wonderful Italian food is. Terralina is now open here at Disney Springs next to the Paddlefish Restaurant. I would absolutely recommend you come on down and pay a visit. 
downloaded our free Attractions Magazine app. It features news articles, as well as every issue of our magazine, available right in the app. Plus, catch up on all episodes of the show, and even view all of our online videos in one place. Download the app for free in the App Store today. This week's birthday shoutouts go out to Marsha D'Amelio, Stephen Calamusa, Ali Flores, and Jeremy Durham. Happy birthday, everyone! The newest issue of Attractions Magazine is out and ready to be enjoyed. This issue features articles on Fast and the Furious, Supercharged, Voodoo Donuts, and Pixar Fest. We highly recommend you check out our YouTube channel. We have recently added a bunch of videos, including high-resolution 360 footage of all the Toy Story Land attractions. Subscribe today to stay up to date on every bit of new footage we get. And don't forget to hit the bell icon to get notified when we post. If we ever go live, you will be alerted so you can join in and interact with us. And now we want to thank MEI Travel, our preferred travel agent for cruises, Disney, Universal, and Adventures by Disney. For a free quote with no obligation, visit meitravel.com. And thanks to Undercover Tourist, our recommended supplier of discount tickets to Orlando and California attractions. For more information, visit undercovertourist.com. Give Kids a World Village is an 84-acre nonprofit resort in Central Florida that provides week-long, cost-free vacations to children with life-threatening illnesses and their families. To learn more about how to get involved, please visit gktw.org. Last week, we did not have our early night live episode. However, it's going to continue starting tonight. Mm -hmm. It's going to have Banks and Ava from our As Dreamers Do vlog. And uh, it's going to have a little bit of a different system now. We're going to have a rotating host every week. Yeah, so Brittany, if you didn't know, did move to Texas. Mm -hmm. She's still going to be working for us. And Vincent has stepped down from Early Night Live. He'll still be working for us, though, as well. So you'll still see them around. But yeah, we'll have some, like Quinn said, rotating hosts. Kind of see how it goes. But definitely make sure you watch tonight with Banks and Ava. Thank you so much for joining us. And we hope you'll tune in again next week. Until then, visit your local attractions. Try something new. Stay safe. But most of all, have, have fun. fun. No, 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 no. So last week we did not have our earl. <laughs> <laughs>